Savings Vatikalos, Rapazandan, Russia, Nation Scale, representing Russia, Yuko Kawakuki and Alexander so this pair qualified in the second position for the Grand Prix Final. They captured gold at the Cup of China this year and a silver at the Cup of Russia. Ballet meets opera meets figure skating. This is acting as well as athletics in this program. Just couldn't get the back outside edge to run. Upper body not flowing over the edge. She has no time to recover. Back into the next jump. That's sideways oh. two. And that's trouble times two. Yes, literally no recovery time between those two elements to get your head straight at all. That's approximately 10 points out the window. Count the revolutions. One, two, three, four. Got it. Good for her. Well, they're the only team other than Megan and Eric to successfully land for a quad this year. And if you look at the technical tracker, their score just went from 3 to 11, just with that one element. <laughs> Nearly 12, actually. They take a little break in between. And on a very tight circle, throw triple loop. Which, when you sometimes try the quad, gets a little easier. They kept this long program from last year, and I actually saw it for the first time in Barcelona. They had had a, a not good short, and I was sitting in the rink watching them skate very early on, and I was so impressed with this program. I thought it was by far and away the best program they'd ever had. Beautifully choreographed by Peter Chernyshev, and uh, almost has that film noir quality to it, you know, sitting in a dark and moonlit the theatre. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. What a beautiful, just in between them.
Russia's Yuko Kavaguti and Alexander Smirnov, they've been on the Grand Prix circuit since 06, and they've never been off the podium. Grand Prix final, a bit of a different story, only a bronze 2011-12. What will they get here? Well, you said earlier, Andy, you know, we wonder how it feels for them being over 30 years old to do it. And I think the answer to that is many a good tune played on an old fiddle. They had a couple of mistakes at the beginning, but boy, that was fabulous at the end. I don't think you can pull that off until you are older. No, agreed. Agreed, absolutely. Well, great bounce back for them, as mentioned. The only other pair to land the throw quad successfully in competition. Like true Canadians, yeah, this is great. <laughs> They're just taking it in stride, and why not? Do not lose the smile on those faces. No. Kavaguri Smirnov, the pair from Russia, is who we just finished watching. Gravity took its toll on the first two elements. You're watching that now. This program did recover. Um, for me, I will say the skating skills from these two are not quite as high, but the acting skills is. There's a lot of posturing on two feet, but they sell it. They do. So I actually, I actually do buy it. But it's a risky move for me. Um, if you're not committed, it doesn't work. Yeah. Well, they're going to need 143.04 to go above the Canadians in the standings, and they don't do it. 132.95, Megan, Megan and Eric will Megan stay. Megan and Eric keep the couch. Yeah. At they least stay there. For one more team. Pole position. Yes, that's right. Spasiba, you're welcome. Thank you.